We got the liquid sunshine kicking today. Yeah, if that's what you call it. There you go, right? Hey, you got my box, Sam. I did. It's a good day. Good deal. I think I'm gonna have to do a video showing how much that'll hold, cause well, I got yeah. hopes that it's gonna hold uh, all the stuff that's laying in my shop floor where I built my shop. Well, they're nice. So what we really like about those is you can actually keep adding to it if you want. But now, you know, that bottom one is like a luggage cart. So you can only stack so high before, you know. Right. But you can rearrange them whichever way you want. It's going to be a good deal. It is. Yeah, y'all. Well, how's Matco life treating y'all this week? It's good. We um, just went to a meeting last Saturday. Picked up something pretty neat. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, you know, our stubby impact that everybody just absolutely loved, it's actually, there's one right there beside you that's still in a case in right a there. a green case right beside you. So, that's the old style right there. there. Yep. That's the one I got. Yep. So, you know, everybody absolutely loved it. Our tire shops liked it because it's small, compact. Well, this one is the exact same size. Different color, of course. Almost the same size. Yeah. I thought it was the same size, but it's almost the same size. Yeah, almost. This one's just a little bit beefier, but you know, you really can't tell the difference there. Okay. So, the positive note on this is, this is 1,200 foot-pounds. Wow. In that little video gun, it's 1,200 foot-pounds. So, for all those that have this one, mm -hmm. can now upgrade to this one, and it's only 200 foot pounds less than our MT2779. 69. 69. Wow. So. That's impressive. It is, and it's available in all colors except burgundy. And yellow, because we discontinued yellow. yellow so. Which, burgundy is a good thing to get rid of. Yeah. Well, we actually have people that prefer that color, and. Really? Impact, yeah. Well, I'm proud they come out with the boot covers at the same time, too. They finally got that going on together, so. I was going to say, that was. Cheers to Matt Co on that one. Holy cow. Yeah. What? And they're available in all colors, too, so they're just hanging up every side. Need to give them boys a raise up there. <laughs> so there you go. They have the black cover as well. I don't, if I pay, I mean, I guess if you don't care for a color or you end up buying a color you don't like, you can buy the black cover as well. Yeah. So. Cool. That's good. I'm proud they released the boot covers. Yeah. yeah they had them in stock. Because every other time it would be, your impact already looks like crap. Looks like you forgot to unhook it from your service truck and drove home with it dangling behind the truck before they released the boot cover. So they did yeah. good. Had yeah. to give them, give them props on that one. Good job. Yeah, it also has a uh, upgraded anvil. Mm -hmm. So one of the complaints that we had with some of our others, I've never seen it but was the anvil breaking. So they went ahead and upgraded the anvil as well to be able to withstand the torque that it has plus the increase uh, from the old one. So nice. I know we're moving away from air at lightning speed, but there is still people that, mm -hmm. that require to have air. Um, some of your tire shops and stuff like that. So. I think, you know, once you get up to three quarter inch impacts, you know, in that area, like I think air is still very important, but you know, like my one inch impact, um, that Milwaukee is very expensive. The one inch <laughs> Milwaukee, like it's, man, that thing's up there, you know. So I got to look in the other day, and I don't know uh, if I looked in the wrong spot or what, but I just said, you know what, I want to look and see what the Forge batteries. What, what they are <laughs> freaking crazy and, what expensive. and I don't know if it was an error but I clicked I just said you know what the biggest competitor with Milwaukee right now is Home Depot mm -hmm. let me just go to Home Depot and see what they're carrying the 12-0 
forged battery for it. It was fourteen hundred dollars. I couldn't have clicked off that page quick enough. <laughs> oh, it's nuts, man. And then That's I decided, expensive. I was like, well, I wonder what an ADO would cost. Yeah. That thing was like eight, nine hundred dollars. It's crazy. But the craziest part to me, and the reason that I say there might have been a mistake, is because the six O was like two hundred and forty-eight dollars. I'm like, what? What's the? Where's the? Yeah. It must have been a typo or something. I don't know. Because if I would have been to Home Depot a day earlier, you know, I'm putting up all that, um, they call it smart side inside my shop, and I've been doing it without a nail gun. And I thought, man, I'm going to buy me a nail gun because, you know, it's like a lot of work. So I go to Home Depot, and I was like, well, we sold the last one yesterday. Uh, I remember getting it down for the guy, but they had a deal where you could get a 5 forged battery and the nail gun and a charger for like five twenty nine. Oh, wow. I was like, God. So, whoops. <laughs> Should have got down there a day earlier, I guess. But whatever, right? It may have been two batteries. I think it was two batteries. It was like a short battery and then a taller battery. But it was a good deal on that. Because yeah. the gun itself was 300, you know, close to 300 bucks. So. You know, and that's the thing about Milwaukee, and I don't know how they do it. And I'm not complaining by no means. Um, but for batteries to be so expensive... Even the five O's and, and just random stuff, for there to be so expensive, they'll randomly do a deal where you buy a gun at regular price and they give you three. And it's like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. You know, or, or you get two batteries free or, you know. That just shows you the markup that they like, actually have in those batteries. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't, I, how does this happen? How do we go from batteries are stupid high to here, here's your one for free? Like I said, I'm not complaining. Yeah, no yeah, I'm not complaining, but that uh, just shows you the market they got on them. Cause something. It's there. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. but. Well, I noticed all the blue pliers out here. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, we actually got that blue set. Yeah, the eight piece set. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like it just for the bag. Yep. <laughs> so what I really like about that set, I like the color too, but it's gonna have the easy clean handles yeah you know we talked smooth. about that and then you're also going to have which you'll have some people that don't like that because they'll say they they slip a lot easier yeah they do get pretty slick when you get diesel fuel on yeah them, so. and uh but now i have dropped a pair of those that you're looking at there and they don't have the slick handle so you know it really just depends on yeah it's kind of weird these like i would buy this set before i would buy the slick handle set yeah Cause that was kind of like my only thing with channel lock. Like what yeah. I didn't really like about channel lock pliers, so. Yeah. But what I like about the eight piece set is I like that they're offering something other than needle nose. Yeah. Cause anybody that's bought Maco tools for a while knows that almost every year we do a needle nose package mm -hmm. and it's got every needle nose that you could ever think about. But good Lord, I need other pliers than needle nose sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I need some gutters every once in a while. Well, when I was building, you know, doing I still ain't done with it by no means, but I got three quarters of electrical work done. And uh, I was like, I'm buying a new pair of lineman pliers because the pair that I had was, they were old. Like, I, I don't even remember buying them. They, they've been, been a set like my dad had an extra set and gave to me. It was Klein's, you know. So I got the new, a new pair of Knipex. I just bought new strippers and new lineman pliers. Dude, those things are so nice. Well, right. I think Nipix is the best pliers out there. I mean, I've said that before. Uh, so one of the guys, like, I run all the wire and put it in the box, but I got him to tie the box in because I've never done that, you know. And I was like, this is one part of this whole equation that I don't want screwed up. Like, if you tie in a plug wrong, you flip the breaker on, guess what? It's going to trip the breaker. Then you know, uh-oh, I got something wrong in that circuit. And it don't really work that way when you're tying in the meter base, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna get somebody that knows what they're doing. So anyway, um, while he was doing that, I was running another uh, 220 circuit for my outside disconnect from our compressor. So he went to tie it in, and he's like, "Let me, let me just use your strippers." My hand on turn is like, "Oh, these are gonna suck because they're not clients. Like, you don't do electrical work." Unless you got a set of clients, like it's all he kept talking about until he used them. He said, damn, they're some good strippers. they some really good strippers. I'm like, there you go. So when I added on to, uh, to our house, I did the wiring there. And I had the 
Uh, I had just an old pair. Everybody's probably got them. Yellow handle, mm -hmm. at Walmart. Man, that thing sucked. But then I had some of the Nipix on the truck, and I was like, it will be hot up in that attic. Uh, yeah, the last thing you want to do is, is fight one of the fire strippers. Yeah, I was there. like, let me just go ahead and go out there. Let me get them. Man, they are not on the truck no more. They're in my tool bag. What I like about them, the way they put the little plier point on the front, yeah, like it's super easy to to bend the wire. You like on your ground wire if you're twisting your ground wires together like that. Those they got those pliers for, and the cutters are amazing on them things. So I and there's probably an electrician somewhere yelling at me because I'm by no means an electrician. Um, but I always twist my wires before I put the the wire nut on them. You're supposed to, I think. And, the pliers with the pliers in them work perfect. I mean, if you get a bad pair of pliers, it gets kind of difficult. You get frustrated. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, they work good. They just twist those together and they put your wire net on. Take it up and let's go. Yeah. I don't even know if you guys can hear us at this point, but uh, I don't know. We may see uh, Noah floating by with all the animals here in a second. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we'll wrap this thing up because it sounds like uh, we're going to have to have a life jacket to get back to the shop. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this Friday. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.